as odd as it may seem to many people, uh, luxury goods don't mean that much to me. Among those things that don't seem to mean much to Leith, North Dakota's most infamous resident are apparently accommodations for water and sewer. His home has neither. As a result, he recently received three notices to deal with these and other issues. Custer Health, the five-county health district that includes Grant County, where Leith is situated, says Craig Cobb has 30 days to rid his buildings of vermin, repair buildings, and cut the grass. He had five days to present a plan to provide water and sewer for his property. That period has expired. We're here to look out for Mr. Cobb. He's a senior citizen and you have groups of people that are trying to, in whatever manner, get him out of the community. And that's morally and in every way it's wrong. However, Custer Health Administrator Keith Johnson says Craig Cobb is not being singled out. The process of cleaning up Leith began before the Cobb controversy and his white rights agenda surfaced when a resident alerted Custer Health regarding issues at other Leith properties. As a result, 12 notices were issued, including three to the Cobb property. Custer Health says they didn't even know anyone was living there at the time. However, according to Section 6203 of the Plumbing Code, any building used as a residence in North Dakota must have water and sewer. In a statement to KX News, Custer Health says, we do not intend to discriminate against him. We are going to treat him just like anyone else. They note the city council and residents are motivated to clean their town up now that they've seen what can happen when they don't. Custer Health also says since the consequence could be Craig Cobb would not be able to live in his house, they may choose to handle the matter in district court versus administratively to ensure he is afforded complete due process. In Mandan for KX News, Barbara Sharp.